Hey people, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. Good evening, good afternoon, good evening to everyone who is watching this video from different countries. So, in today's video, we are going to talk about the IELTS exam writing task 1 specifically for the general candidates. Before I begin the video, I want to say all the best to the candidates who are going to appear for the IELTS exam pretty soon. So friends, today's IELTS Writing Task 1, I'm going to talk about letters, topics of letters, formal, semi-formal, informal, that are important considering this Jan to April session. In fact, throughout the EO, these questions are important. Some of these questions have appeared recurringly in the IELTS examination, only the context changes. And I've also put up questions that have appeared in the last two years, which I found very important. So. Before I take you to the questions, I just want to say if anyone is facing any kind of problem in any of the four modules, writing, reading, speaking, listening, you can write me down in the comment section and I will do my best to assist you. If anyone wants me to make a video on any specific topic, you can write me down in the comment section on any of my videos and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Or you can write me down at my email that's also with Arun at the real gmail.com that you can find in the description. So uh, apart from this, I've also uploaded a video on the IELTS structure, the proper format which you should follow while appearing in the examination that is going to help you a lot. It will explain the difference between uh, what is a formal letter, what is a semi-formal, what is an informal letter, how you should take care about the language. So make sure you watch that video as well and I'll be uploading a video on essays also. So let's not waste more time and go to the questions. Let's just start the video. IELTS Writing Task 1, Letters 2021. Okay, let's begin with the very first letter. The first letter states, You have just finished your master's degree and need to leave your current part-time job to search for full-time employment. Write a letter to your current employer in your letter. Explain why you will not be able to pursue a full-time job in his or her company. Second, say why you have enjoyed working for him or her. Third, tell him or her how much longer will you will continue to work for him, him or her. Okay, so according to this question, you have just finished your master's degree and you need to leave your current part-time job in search of a full-time employment. So now presently you are working for a company in where you are working part-time and now you want to look for a full-time job. So you will write a letter to your employer. First thing you will tell him why you want to leave this part-time job of yours. Second, you need to mention the letter how much you appreciate the time you have spent in this company where you have been working part-time. And last, you need to also inform your current employer for how much duration you will be working in his or her company. So this is a complete formal letter. Second question. Second question is write a letter to your friend. So now this is the biggest keyword over here. Friend. Friend means someone you know. So it becomes an informal letter. You need to understand and identify the keywords. They're very very important in the terms of your writing. Because you people are aspiring for minimum 7 bands, people who are appearing for general category. So you have to be very precise when it comes to writing. So write a letter to your friend inviting him or her to a music concert. Please say where and when does the concert start? What type of music will be played there? Why do you think your friend will enjoy it? So you can just write a letter to your friend telling uh, that it's basically a jazz music concert and you how much you both appreciate jazz music so you can write a storyline like that and you can in, invite your friend next it's a complete informal letter i've already mentioned third question third letter is your manager has asked you to do a presentation at the upcoming training session write a letter to your manager and say what is the topic of presentation what is the benefit of conducting session on that topic? What are your requirements for conducting this presentation? Okay, as the keyword over here is manager. So we understand it's a complete formal letter. So you will follow a strict language over here. 
So in this letter, your manager has asked you to do a presentation at a training session. So now you will be writing a letter to your manager and you will be informing him that you are doing a presentation on which topic. All right. Plus, you will also be stating in your letter what is the benefit of conducting presentation on that particular topic. And you will also talk about the requirement of yours for conducting this presentation like any prerequisites if you need anything for conducting this presentation. So this is again a formal letter. Next fourth letter is you have purchased a product on a website and received a different product. Write a letter to the company. In your letter, describe the product you ordered. Explain why you aren't satisfied with the product you received. Third, let them know what actions you expect them to take. Okay, so you made a purchase on a website or it's an online purchase and you received a product, but it was not the same product that you ordered. Now it can happen due to a number of reasons. What you need to write in the letter is first, you need to talk about the product that you actually ordered. Next, second, you need to also mention why are you satisfied with, satisfied with the product you received? Of course, because it was not the product that you ordered. Third thing, let them know what actions you expect them to take. So in this letter is basically a complaint letter, right? So complaint letter comes again in the category of formal letters. So you need to mention in the last day what action you're expecting them to take that you want the product to be changed as soon as possible. Next question. The fifth one. You read a newspaper article that captured your attention. Write letter to your friend and recommend reading the article. Include the following in your letter. First, where and when the article was published, what the article was about, why it is important that your friend reads it. Okay. So since the, again, it's mentioned about friend, it's an informal letter because you know the person very well and it's you are recommending him something. So in this letter, you just need to uh, you can ask about your friend's whereabout. Then you can mention him that uh, you came across an article. It really touched your heart or it crossed your mind that you should also read it. So you are recommending this letter to in this letter. You are recommending that article to your friend. So you need to tell about the specification where your friend can find this article, right? That's the most important thing. And why you feel that your friend should actually read this uh, article. Okay. So it's an informal letter. Let's jump to the sixth question. You want to improve your knowledge of foreign language, which can help you at work. Write a letter to a foreign language teacher and say, where did you hear about the teacher? Why do you want to learn the foreign language? Ask some questions about the course. Okay. So the letter is to a teacher that's understood formal plus you don't know this teacher yet. So you are basically making an inquiry and the inquiry comes in the category of a formal letter. So you need to write a letter to a person whom you got to know about. It's basically a teacher who teaches a foreign language. For example, right now, let's say the teacher teaches French language. Okay. And it's a female. So um, we write a letter to the uh, teacher. Um, we're quoting, okay, ma'am, I got, madam, I got to know about you through Google. There were a lot of reviews people have given you over your teaching skills. And you really want to learn this language. You want to know what kind of course it is, how much duration, the fee structure you are interested in the course. So make an inquiry seeking all this information. Next, seventh question. You have visited a local school in your community. It needs people who can help renovate the building and also help with some activities. Write a letter to the principal of the school and say, how would you be able to help? When and why you would do it? Who will help you to do it? Okay, so you came about a community that is renovating a school. There's a local school in your community um, that's getting renovated and you got to know about it. Now you want to help. So you will write a letter to the principal. Now principal is our keyword here that indicates it's a formal letter. Now, when we're writing a letter to the principal, we will mention about ourselves first and how you got to know about the thing that they're renovating the school. Then you will tell them that what kind of help you would want to provide them and when and why you want to do it and when you can actually come and help them and who will help you to do it. And whether you're coming alone or you're coming with a company, you're coming with some friend circle who would like to who share the same interest. Next. 
एट क्वेश्चन यू रिसेंटली टूक अ ट्रिप टू अदर सिटी एंड यू हैड अ प्लान टू विजिट योर फ्रेंड हु इज लिविंग देयर हाउ एवर यू कॉन्ट सी हिम और हर राइट अ लेटर टू योर फ्रेंड एंड से अपोलोजाइज फॉर नॉट बींग एबल टू मीट गिव योर रीजन सजेस्ट हाउ यू कैन मीट सम अदर टाइम सो इज एज एज फ्रेंड इट्स एन इनफॉर्मल लेटर यू बेसिकली राइट अ लेटर टू योर फ्रेंड एंड एक्सप्लेन वाई आफ्टर कमिंग you came or uh, you couldn't come to visit your friend you need to mention the reasons in the letter give your reasons and also you need to mention when is the next time you are planning to meet him or her next question you have recently been invited to talk about your country at the american academy write a letter to the administrator and say accept the invitation and suggest possible dates what topics would you like to talk about what will you need for your talk Okay, so you are basically invited, invited uh, at a American Academy. Now it's an academy, so we'll consider it as a formal letter because academy is a place related to education over here. We perceive that. So you are going over there. So now you will write a letter to the person from whom you received a letter on the behalf of the academy, and you will tell them that you are accepting the invitation, invitation, and on what dates are you available. Second, you will also mention what topics. would you like to talk about on that day and if any prerequisites if you would need anything next you work a part time job in a company and the company posted an advertisement seeking a person for a full time position write a letter to your manager requesting to apply for the advertised position in your letter you should say why do you want to apply what are your future goals why would it be beneficial for, for the company it's a straight forward letter like you need to write a letter to the company who have opened a position you need to talk about future goals why you think you're apt for that position it's a complete formal letter because you're applying for a job next you have recently flown to another country on a business trip you were satisfied with the flight but you didn't like services at the airport write a letter to the airport manager and say give your flight details why you were disappointed suggest some improvements at the airport services now it's more of like a complaint letter because you're writing you were not satisfied with the services offered at the airport so you are writing a letter to the airport manager now you after giving your flight details please mention why you are writing this letter what you really didn't like so you can tell that there was no proper sitting arrangement or there was or the waiting lounge was not proper or there was not proper number of staff available to deal with the customers or the people who were flying next You stayed at a hotel recently and forgot your clothes there. Write a letter to the hotel manager and say when and where did you stay. Describe your clothes. What would you like the manager to do about it? So it's a very nice question, and it's a specific one. A lot of people make error in this question. So what you need to do is, after giving all the detail of yours to the hotel manager, please ensure that you mention you stayed in the hotel on what dates. and in which room number it is very very important people forget such kind of specific information and you need to also mention whether the clothes were in a brief you forgot that in the say like closet or whether they were in some kind of suit case so mention all this information it's a formal letter next write a letter to your friend inviting him her to your family party okay in your letter explain why you are organizing the party Ex- describe what are you planning to do See how important it is to have your friend at the party. So it's basically you're inviting a friend to a party. It's a straightforward letter. Your colleague found another job and invited you his to his farewell party. Unfortunately, you are unable to attend it. Write a letter to him or her and say why you can't attend the party. Why did you enjoy working with him? Her offer him her to meet some other time. Okay, so it's a formal. Uh, it's a semi formal letter basically because you are talking about a colleague and a colleague who has invited you or oh, it's farewell party it's a party also so you need to write to the colleague that why you will not be able to attend the party you need to quote some strong reason that why you are missing a farewell party because not it's not like a birthday party it's a farewell party your colleague will not be working with you from now on so after giving that reason you need to also mention how you enjoyed working in their camp uh, along with them how you enjoyed their company plus you need to also mention that if uh, you are able to meet them later in some time next 15th question you have recently used a moving 
you have recently used a moving company to move your household items to a new place and they have been damaged in the transfer write a letter to the company's manager and say when and where did it take place what is your complaint suggest a reasonable solution okay it's basically a complaint letter because your goods are damaged so you write a letter to the company you will tell about yourself you'll tell about the booking you made what kind of goods were transferred and then you will tell about what is your complaint actually what got broken then what is a reasonable solution you want them to pay or you want them to get your goods in order next 16th question you would like to participate in a training course write a letter to your manager about the course and ask for permission in your letter give details of the course why is it useful for you how will it be how will it benefit for you how will it benefit your work so it's a complete formal letter you want to participate in a training program so you're writing a letter to your manager and in this particular letter you are managing about the course and the details of the course how for how much longer duration it is uh, what are the timings daily times next uh, why this course is particularly useful for you and how will it help you in your daily work next you have recently traveled by plane and during the journey you had an issue with one of airline employees write a letter to the company manager and say give details of your flight describe the issue you have encountered what do you expect the manager to do about it okay you're writing a letter to the manager of the company okay you're writing a letter to the manager of the airline and you're giving details of your flight and you are telling about the problems that you have faced while traveling and what do you expect the manager to do it's a formal letter it's a complaint letter next you forgot an item at the hotel where you stayed on a vacation recently write a letter to the management and say when and where did you stay what did you live there what do you want them to do with this item so this is the same question as appeared before right so the only difference is what do you want them to do with this item so um you can tell them that uh, they have their address they can courier you the uh, belongings you are ready to pay for the shipping charges or you want them to keep it safe you can go and pick them by yourself next one of your colleagues recently got a new job at another company write a letter to him or and say how do you feel about him or what you enjoyed the most while working together ask what his her future plans are so you can write a letter to the colleague who was who's got a new job you can tell them what do you think you're really happy you're really elated overjoyed hearing this news that they've got a fantastic job and when you work with them what did you enjoy the most and you can also tell them or rather ask them what are their future plans next 20th question write a letter to your english speaking friend to invite him or her to see a movie about your country in your letter say describe the movie why would he she find it interesting suggest an arrangement to watch the movie together it's a straightforward question you can just talk about the details of the movie and where you're planning to see it and when you're planning to see it write a letter to a newspaper editor about the poor condition of a historical building in your area and say what building are you writing about describe the current condition of the building what should be done in this situation okay now this is an important question you're writing a letter to the editor of a newspaper right and newspaper is going to be seen by n number of people in your country in your place and you are trying to throw light on a building are you talking about a place that's not in a good condition it can be any historical building you can be talking about a building or uh, like something that is uh, not be used since long it's in uh, it's in debilitating condition and you can write about that particular thing and how it holds in historical importance you can throw some light on that and you can also recommend what can be done we can renovate this building or not next is write a letter to complain about late delivery to the website where you ordered an item please say what item did you order why and when did you order that item how would you like them to resolve the issue so again it's like an online shopping i we have discussed the same letter about uh you can just write them or uh, that your order went missing that you have uh, just a second a little bit of the order please see okay 
so it's basically a complaint letter that uh, you have some problem with your order so you can write them that it re you receive the product in damaged condition or it is not up the quality is not up to the mark next you recently received an invitation to a three-day trading program which should benefit you and the company write a letter to your manager and say ask to attend the program describe the program explain the program how it will benefit the company now it's the same kind of training question that was asked earlier so you, in this letter you're writing a letter to the manager and you are saying them you are asking permission uh, to attend the program and you're telling them what the program actually is and how it is going to help you and the company in the longer run next question your friend would like to come and work in your country for six months write a letter to him or her in your letter recommend a city where your friend could find work suggest some jobs your friend could do and give your friend some ideas how to connect with the local committee okay say like you are living in india and one of your friend is coming from germany and he wants to live in your country for six months so you can tell them what job opportunities they can find for the six months where they can stay what are the possible places they can visit and how they can connect with the local community last question in this is you want to improve your knowledge of our language which can help you at work, right? A letter to foreign language teacher. Now, this is the same question which we have talked earlier about the foreign language. So, it's a formal question again. But as you can see, this question, I made the list. It's basically comprising of all, almost all the category of the letters that have appeared in the last two years. Plus, I've added some letters that is important considering the January 20, uh, the whole year actually, to be more precise. It's not only the January session we're talking about. It They can appear in the later part of August or December also. But right now, since we're in the first quarter, Jan to April 2021, make sure you check all the letters before you appear for your examination. Now, I'm not always saying that you will get only this letter. Make sure you're continuing with your preparation. Along with your preparation, you can check these letters before you go for examination. If anyone is having any kind of trouble in this letter, Please feel free to write me down in the comment section if you're having any problem in the letter structure or anything related to any module. So you can talk me, um, you can write me in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. 